Did you know that same nuclear waste we treat as a hazard could power entire cities for decades? Yes, 10% of world's energy comes from nuclear reactors. And we have been storing this problem underground. It is kind of like solving your laundry under the bed and hoping no one notices. But what if there was another way? This is how a nuclear waste looks like. And surprise surprise, it looks nothing like the movies showed. No glowing green goo and definitely no toxic sludge that gives you superpowers. Ugh, some kind of nuclear waste. Tell me, does anyone else feel a trifle queasy? One surprising fact about this nuclear waste is that just 3% of the total waste accounts for 95% of the radioactivity. This waste is not just something we bury and forget. Believe it or not, we can recycle it and generate even more energy. And I'm not talking about some fancy experimental technology. This has been possible since 1963. Yes, 1963. But in 1977, something happened that changed everything. President Jimmy Carter halted nuclear reprocessing. Why? The fear of nuclear weapons was spreading. But with today's growing stockpiles, could recycling this waste be the key to a safer, more sustainable future? Let's find out. When we talk about nuclear reactors today, we are talking about fission reactors. In these reactors, the fuel, composed of heavy atoms, is hit by a fast-moving neutrons. This makes it split into two lighter atoms, releasing energy in the process. The fuel which is typically used in these reactors is uranium. There are two types of naturally occurring uranium, the uranium-235 and the uranium-238. We use uranium-235 which accounts for about 0.7% of naturally occurring uranium. Take a look at this reaction. When a uranium-235 atom splits, it produces energy along with some radioactive byproducts, known as fission products. Over time, the fuel becomes less efficient and it has to be replaced, creating what we call spent fuel, which is considered a waste and is discarded. So what do we do with this waste? If you have ever thought about just launching all that nuclear waste into the sun, it may sound fun, but it's not practical. What other ideas could you suggest? Let me know in the comments. So currently we rely on deep geological storage and dry cask storage to handle nuclear waste. But if recycling nuclear waste seems like an obvious solution, why do we still store this waste in bunkers? Now you are probably thinking recycling is for plastic bottles, right? Well, nuclear waste can be recycled too, turning a dangerous liability into a valuable resource. A fuel pellet stays in a reactor for roughly 3 to 5 years before it is replaced. But even after this time, it still has more than 90% of its potential energy. So yeah, imagine cutting high level waste volume by 85% while boosting the energy output as a result. So how exactly do we do it? The first step is to remove the fuel pallets from the reactor and store them in a pool filled with water to cool down. This step is essential because the spent fuel is highly radioactive and generates significant amount of heat. The pellets stay here for roughly 5 years. After cooling the pellet, it is cut into smaller pieces and is dissolved in strong acid solution. This process typically uses nitric acid, which breaks down the solid fuel into a liquid form, making it easy to separate the uranium and plutonium from other fission products. Next step is called Purex process, which stands for plutonium uranium recovery by extraction. In this process, specific solvents are added to selectively extract uranium and plutonium from the solution while leaving behind fission products. Once separated, uranium and plutonium can be precipitated out of the solution. For instance, uranium can be converted into a solid form known as yellow cake through precipitation with chemicals like hydrogen peroxide or sodium hydroxide. The recovered uranium and plutonium can then be further processed to create new fuel pellets for use in reactors. This might involve enriching the uranium or converting plutonium into the mixed oxide fuel. 
Francis Lahag facility shows the effectiveness of this approach, recovering about 96% of spent fuel for reuse. This impressive feat displays the potential of nuclear waste recycling on a large scale. The benefits of nuclear waste recycling extend beyond waste reduction and energy production. By reusing nuclear fuel, we reduce the need for new uranium mining, helping to conserve natural resources and minimize environmental disruption from resource extraction. This shift in perspective transforms nuclear waste from a problem into a resource. Despite its potential benefits, nuclear waste recycling is not widely implemented. The process faces significant hurdles that have limited its adoption in many countries, including the United States. So, what's keeping us from embracing this solution? Well, it is a mix of economic, political and technical challenges. But the most significant hurdle is the cost. It is very expensive to recycle this nuclear waste. The Purex process, which is a common method for recycling nuclear waste, costs about $1000 per kilogram. Compare that to fresh uranium, which costs about $100 per kilogram. Damn, those recycling bills are sure heavy. <laughs> Do you think we should invest more in recycling, even if it's more expensive? Let me know. The United States produces about 2200 metric tons of spent fuel annually. It will cost at least $5 billion more than direct disposal in present value terms. Damn, that's more dollars. Cost is not the only problem here. Nuclear waste recycling is an extremely sophisticated technical process. Reprocessing and transmutation are complicated chemical procedures that challenge even the most advanced scientific brains. Furthermore, these methods can generate waste forms with unique management issues, adding another degree of complexity. This makes recycling difficult to justify without substantial governmental support. Regulatory obstacles are another problem. Strict safety requirements and environmental laws in the United States can delay or prevent the establishment of new recycling facilities. These measures, while crucial for public safety, create significant roadblocks for implementation. Public perception of nuclear technology further complicates the matter. Because of the negative feeling caused by the past events like Chernobyl and Fukushima, it is challenging to get political support for recycling programs. Many people believe recycling is extremely dangerous, despite countries like France showing that risks can be effectively managed through regulations and oversight. Turns out, convincing people that nuclear recycling is safe is about as easy as getting cats to swim. <laughs> and then there's the elephant in the room. Nuclear proliferation. In 1977, the Carter administration's decision to halt federal funding for reprocessing due to proliferation concerns had set a precedent that influenced US policies for decades. Do you think the benefits of recycling outweigh the risk of potential misuse? There is also a serious concern about nuclear security. Without strict international oversight, recycling facilities could be misused. So, where do we go from here? As we wrestle with the reality of mounting nuclear waste, innovative technologies like fast breeder reactors and fusion energy offers a glimmer of hope. Remember the uranium-238? Yeah, the same one which we do not use. Fast breeder reactors mainly use uranium-238 as a fuel, which is abundant in nature. Fast breeder reactor produces a large number of fast neutrons, which are neutrons that have high energy level. These fast neutrons can convert non-fissile uranium-238 in fissile plutonium-239. This process is called breeding. The plutonium-239 can then be used as a fuel to produce energy, just like uranium-235. So, this means that while the reactor is generating energy, it is also creating new fuel. It is just like those friends who invite you over for dinner and then send you home with leftovers for a week. This closed fuel cycle allows for nuclear waste to be recycled multiple times, significantly reducing the volume of waste we need to manage. Fast breeder reactors can use about 70% of uranium-238 available in natural uranium, when compared to conventional reactors that typically use less than 1% of their fuel, it is very efficient. 
Fusion reactors could be another solution to the nuclear waste problem. Fusion reactors work by combining light atomic nuclei into heavier ones. The primary byproducts of fusion reaction are helium and neutrons. Helium is a harmless novel gas and it is not considered radioactive waste. Neutrons can activate materials around the reactor creating some low level radioactive waste but this is significantly less than the high level waste produced by the fission reactors. International cooperation and treaties are essential for establishing effective management practices and addressing proliferation risks associated with recycling technologies. This global collaboration coupled with investment in technology and public engagement is crucial for overcoming existing economic and political barriers and creating an environment where these innovations can thrive and gain public acceptance. The future of nuclear waste management could involve a combination of efficient recycling technologies and advanced reactor designs, significantly reducing the nuclear waste problem. By making efficient use of nuclear fuel, we are taking a large step towards a more sustainable energy future. Now the real question is what will it take for us to make a change? Besides a catchy hashtag and a few viral memes, of course. If you want to watch more of my videos, Click here. Thank you for watching.